Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I just finished work and I've just found a little parcel sitting on my front doorstep. And oh, I'm so excited. This is the very first order from Sephora. Yes, I've branched out. No more supermarket makeup. No more buying it from, you know... Here in Australia, we don't technically call it drugstore. Uh, we usually just say, you know, from the supermarket or from, you know, the chemist. Um, but yeah, so I've just, I placed an order just the other night. Um, it's only, there's only a couple of things in here. But I just wanted to try it out and, and see how I go. Um, I do have another big parcel coming which is a surprise um, that hasn't arrived yet. I was expecting that today, but because um, Victoria are currently experiencing some severe bushfires or we've had bushfires in the past week, there is a bit of a delay with postage. So the big parcel that I'm expecting hasn't arrived yet, but this is just a small one. And I just thought that I would jump on here and open it up and, and see what's in here and share it with you guys. And what's really cool is it has a little pull tab on the little box and that's really neat. I'm just gonna have a drink first. Check this out. This is the bougiest little bottle of water I've ever seen. It's water. Like it says refreshing triple distilled water by Carton and Co. It's the cutest bougiest little thing I've ever seen. And it's just water, but it looks like a little mini milk carton or juice carton. That's so cute. But I really like that, you know, that it's all, what's this say? BPA free, reduce, reuse and recycle, and it's Australian owned. That's really cool. I just, yeah, didn't plan on showing you that, but I was having a drink anyway, and I think it's the cutest little bottle of water ever. <laughs> anyway, on to the topic at hand. I'm gonna pull this little tab. I'm so excited. I've never ordered from these guys before or from any, you know, of those big websites. I've just started to, so I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, how, what do I do? Oh, oh look. <laughs> That's cool. That's so cool. All right, it is only a little box. It's like, it's only a little, a little wee one. But I love the inside, that's neat. Pull that out first. Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Oh, the little testers from Becca Foundation. Oh, okay. Just a, a heap of paper, and I don't know if you can see in there. First of all, green clay mask. I didn't get a packing slip, so I can't tell you how much everything was. No, no packing slip. Okay. So this is a Sephora green clay mask and it says it has four uses in this little pack. It's such a cute little pack. What's it say? Formulated with the ideal dose of clay and natural source of minerals in different colours to address specific skin concerns. Sephora clay masks are custom made for each skin's needs without feeling tight thanks to their creamy texture. This mask also contains loofah grains for extra gentle exfoliation. Well, that's really neat. I might try that. I did buy that. I did know I was getting it. I thought it was a big one. <laughs> Didn't think it was that small. But anyway, that's that's cute. We'll try that. Next. A Sephora Lagoon Creamy Body Wash. It's just a little single-use body wash. This was a dollar. So I bought it just because it was a dollar. And I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I want to... I just wanted to see what I'd get for my dollar. It's, yeah, it doesn't say much else really. Just that it's a creamy body wash. And I ordered some powder. 
micro smooth baked face compact and it's just the, the, the Sephora brand um, and this is the closest thing I've got you know that I've that I've actually got now that I've bought to non drugstore other than you know the Jeffree Star products that I've got that I got in my, in my mystery box which I haven't really been able to use much of because they're all outrageous colors that you know you, everyday people like me can't wear outside the house so <laughs> Uh, I've yet to use a lot of that. I used a couple of the lipsticks. I actually love watermelon soda. That's really pretty But yes, this is the first one I've ever got and it's just the Sephora brand But it's still a step up from supermarket or drugstore. So lay off me I'm, I'm getting there It's just a powder like It's nice and soft and creamy I don't know, Yeah I don't know if it's the right skin colour, probably not. It looks a little bit yellow, but how would I know anyway? Um, I'll wear it anyway. I don't give a shit really. As long as it covers up this, I'm happy. And the last thing, I think this was the a gift if I ordered from Sephora um, that everybody got, I think. Just a little little pouch it's cute actually it's a little black pouch and it's just like made out of like clear vinyl plastic oh it's just got empty bottles in it what the hell do you do what do you do with these they're just empty bottles I'm guessing that you can put like stuff in them. So it's it's on oh I'm guessing it's a travel pack. So you can take like what would you put in there? Shampoo or body wash and I mean I suppose you could Pour setting spray in there maybe or what else would you put in there that you couldn't just take the whole bottle I don't know but they're cute they say Sephora I don't know if you can see that yeah it says Sephora on the bottom of the bottles and I do like the little the little purse that's cute well that's cool I mean it was free so I'm not gonna complain and, and maybe I'll find a use for it. Maybe. We'll see. But yep, that's it. I spent a total of $18 <laughs> on my first order from Sephora. So a big spender over here. But yeah, I was just um, having a look on their website and just, yeah, didn't intend on buying anything. But seeing this, this was reduced to, I think it was $8 it was reduced to. And this here was $6. And like I said, I th it was reduced to six dollars actually, and I thought it was a big one because I've seen these like these little packs before. Not this brand, but these packs, and they're usually quite big. So that's why I bought it. I thought for six dollars that was cool, but I mean I'm, that's still pretty cool. It's got four four uses in it, so that's nice. Yeah, and then this was a dollar, and yeah, and then I got the little testers. So why don't we have a quick play? With the testers, we've got cashmere, driftwood, and maple. And I'm guessing that I'm probably cashmere because I'm quite fair. But let's try, let's try all of them because there's not much in them. So I don't know what you would be able to do with them except pop a little bit on your chin or on your cheek. And I have no idea how to colour match my foundation either. Oh, jeez, that's dark. That's super dark. But you know what? I'm going to try it anyway. Oh, by the way, I got this sponge from my previous video from MCO Beauty. I haven't used it yet, but I've just wet it. And this is the softest, squishiest 
blender I've ever felt like it is so soft and squishy it feels amazing I think it's gonna be great for putting my foundation on but let's try some of this maple it's super super dark where am I gonna do it here on my chin oh. <laughs> yeah no nah. no way oh shit I knew it was gonna be dark but oh my god now I look like I've got a beard oh no well let's complete that look huh just get the rest of it off the card and I'll give myself a beard with the maple foundation oh shit it won't blend out so yeah oh I mean like this looks fantastic oh I just love that I love that orange glow now anybody wants to say oh yeah you should have known it was gonna be too dark for you I know but I'm just I'm a beginner so how would we have known if it was gonna be too dark or not unless I tried it okay. oh that's that's looking really nice if I do say so myself no I'm joking it looks disgusting um, the next one is driftwood and this one's probably a little bit better, but still, I mean, it's it's actually not too bad. I might just smear it on my face because when I put it straight on the blender with the last one, the blender just soaked it all up, like, look, soaked it all up, which is not what we want when you've only got a smidge of product spread I think this is gonna be a look you know all joke all jokes aside this blender is beautiful from Emco Beauty. Looking pretty. Lastly, we have cashmere. I mean, it would be nice if they give you like a little sample, like a little sampler bottle or something so that you have enough to do your whole face because how are you honestly meant to use just a tiny little bit and really you know gauge whether or not oops whether or not you're gonna like it I don't think it's enough to make that decision like it's only enough like literally to do one little bit and that's really sheer too so it's to get it to spread that far I've had to shear it out heaps I actually don't think that any of these are my shade. Not one of them. And now I look like I've got a five o'clock shadow. Oh, there we go. No, no, no. Actually, this one's not too bad, except it's sheared out so much that I can hardly see it. And I'm only using my camera to see what I'm doing, so I've probably blended it all away. Actually, it looks a bit patchy, doesn't it? It's not that bad. I mean, look at that, the color difference. Like, this is definitely not my shade. This is super orange. Looks like if I actually you know shaved 
and grew a beard this would cover a five o'clock shadow this this shade mm. but while we're here now we'll try the powder over the top it's very dusty Yeah, well, can't see much happening, but I'll give it a chance and I'll use it with my real makeup routine. I'm sure it's going to be better than what I've already been using, you know, to be honest. I'm actually really excited about all my new makeup coming. Oh, actually, it's actually blended that in really nicely. Considering this shade is horrid. Mm. Okay. Well, there you go. So, you know, these are definitely not my shades. But that's okay. I'm going to use the Sephora mask and get all this shit off my face. And then I'm going to jump in and have a lovely shower with my little $1 body wash from Sephora. Thanks, Sephora. Uh, and yes, I'm off to go and drink my bougie water and enjoy the rest of the day before my kids get home from school. So have a great day, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and go and check out my 100 subscribers uh, giveaway video. Um, and make sure you pop a comment in that video just so that I know that you're here and then you're entered into the draw. I'll see you soon. Bye.